All new on the night team, a Jefferson County man has walked out of a state prison after nearly 20 years behind bars, all thanks to a pardon from Kentucky Governor Matt Bevin. Now 45 years old, Paul Hurt was serving a life sentence for sexually abusing and sodomizing his stepdaughter when she was six years old. Tyler Emery explains how a big reason for Hurt's release is the, in, behind the efforts of the man who put him behind bars in the first place. Paul Hurt of Louisville was sentenced to life in prison in 2001 on three counts of sodomy and two counts of sexual abuse. The more I questioned, the more I became convinced that the system made a mistake. 18 years after Judge Stephen Mershon delivered his sentence, Governor Matt Bevin issued a pardon for his release on November 24th. Judge Mershon was there at the state penitentiary in LaGrange to take him home. He was in a complete state of shock. He was sobbing. Mershon, the man who put her behind bars, spent at least eight years trying to get him out, believing his original ruling was a mistake. Mershon sent letters to both former Governor Steve Bashir and and Bevin asking for a pardon for her. I am 99.99% certain this man never did anything wrong and it's not in his nature to hurt anybody, much less a child. In the pardon, Governor Bevin wrote, hindsight is never truly 2020, but it appears to me and to many others, including the judge who sentenced him, that Paul Donald Hurt has been wrongly convicted and imprisoned for nearly 20 years. Court documents show in 2015, the stepdaughter who accused her recanted her original statements about what happened in an evidentiary hearing. The flip-flop didn't come until many, many years after the case was all over with. But the Kentucky Court of Appeals did not overturn the conviction, writing the victim's recantation was a shifting account, no more likely true than false. But it also wrote the court expressed concern about the highly unusual circumstance of Judge Mershon inserting himself into the matter. I felt that I was duty-bound to at least check it out. The governor writing in the part in light of all that is known and all that will forever remain unknown, it does not seem possible that justice can be truly served in this instance. Well, Tyler, I'm fascinated that the judge actually went to the prison in LaGrange mm -hmm. and picked this man up when he was walking out. That's mm -hmm. extraordinary. I've, I've never heard of anything like mm -hmm. that happening. What? How did these two connect to that point that he was willing to go pick him up? Right. Well, uh, Hurt originally wrote Judge Mershon um, while he was in prison um, saying that he had convicted an innocent man. And then the two over the years wrote letters back and forth. And um, it just really stuck with Hurt. And or so, Judge Mershon. Judge Mershon. Mm -hmm. And so he picked him up. Yep. All right. Well, thank you very much, Tyler.